Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Square with WordPress. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at squareup.com or log in to your existing account. Uh, once we are here, we want to go to the left sidebar and click on apps. As you can see, recommended for you, there's straight away WordPress. We click on the WordPress and uh, yeah, we can get started for $25 a month. Uh, there is a less exclusive option uh, at its automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are at automate.io, let's go to integration in the top corner and click on the integrations. Then let's move to the bottom left part of this pop-up window and click on see all categories. Now we can search from 200 and more, but we want to start with the square. And now uh, to its counterpart, which will be WordPress, like this. Yeah. And uh, straight away you get some popular integrations. But if you won't be able to find the one that you're looking for, sc keep scrolling down and you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with square. So let's go with the first option, and on the right side, underneath the actions, you want to go with WordPress. So also stick to the first one. Now we have to hit the Try it Now button, and after a short time, or we can redirect it, and we'll get asked to log in to our account on automate.io, and we are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com, which is a very similar app, I'm just gonna give you an option. So after we create an account here, let's go to the top left corner of our screen and create a ZAP. ZAP stands for integration. On the top left corner, we can uh, also name the ZAP, like square to WordPress, for example, and now to the trigger. It works like it's automate basically, so first trigger will be square, like this. Trigger event, let's go with the, stick to the first one, continue, and now we have to log into the account that we created, like that, continue. Now we have to pick the project or the words, workspace that we are using, in my case it's that mstone one. We hit continue, and now we can test the trigger. On the second action, as you probably thought, we are going to write down WordPress. We pick the WordPress, we are about to create a post, continue, and the last thing is we have to log in or sign into WordPress. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.